Are you looking for the best pork rate recipe on your Weber? Then this is a video for you. Now don't forget everything keys in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're we'll cooking the perfect pork roast. Now you haven't had a pork roast until you've cooked it like this. This is gonna give you the perfect pork crackle and keep that pork really moist and tender. So let's jump straight into it. Right, so you all thought you'd crack the perfect pork crackle and pork roast. Well, there's no better way than to cook it than on the Weber Rotisserie. There will be a link in the description down below of where to get one of these from. Now, once you've cut pork on the Weber Rotisserie, this will be the only way you will ever cook it, trust me. So let's get the Weber set up and then we'll start preparing our pork roast. So we're going to cook in a two kilo roast, I'll put on screen what that is in pans, and we're going to put it on the rotisserie. So I find the best way to prepare this first of all, obviously make sure you've got some nice cuts in that fat for it to render. Now whether you get the butcher to do that or you do that yourself, and also we're going to fit it in the rotisserie first. So make sure when you fit it on the rotisserie that you put this straight through the centre of that leg. Make sure that rotisserie goes all the way in, fit the other side, and then lock it off. Make sure it's central on that rotisserie bar. Now with it on the rotisserie, it's a lot easier to make sure it's totally dry and get it all prepared. So you want to fully redry it with some paper towel. Now we just want to coat this with some olive oil. Now we're just going to turn that over and we're just going to season that with some Weber Greek seasoning, there will be a link in the description below of where to get this from. Now you can use the Greek or you can use barbecue, it's totally up to you. I find the Greek seasoning just tastes superb with pork. Now we're going to season it with our salt. Give it another coat and then we're just going to top that off with some Greek seasoning. And it's time to get this on the queue. Now the most important thing with your Weber Q is don't open that lid, you need that lid closed. Keep that intense heat in there to get that crackle to, to the perfect crackle. Right, so our pork's been in just under two hours. It's time to check that temperature. If it's hit 62 degrees Celsius, and I'll put on screen what that is in Fahrenheit, then it's perfectly cooked. So we'll take it off, let it rest, and give it a bit of a taste test. So our meat's been resting for around 10 minutes, it's time to get that unwrapped, get it carved, and give it a bit of a taste test. Don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Try the meat, and then the crackle. Wow, that's so moist. You can taste that Italian rub. The flavors work really well. You've got that smoke enhanced from that smoke foil that's infused into that rub as well. It just tastes superb. I could eat that whole two kilo race myself. Now let's try the crackle. That's some good crackle right there. Sorry, bro, I got for, for a second piece of meat. Now because we cooked it on that rotisserie, it's retained all that moisture in that meat. Where it's normally dripping into the barbecue, it's still circulating in that roast. You get a perfect crackle and the flavors just infuse and go through that roast as it's turning. Now for those of you looking to cook the perfect low and slow beef roast, check out this video next. And for those of you looking to cook the perfect roast duck, check out this video next. So thanks for watching, happy grilling, and I'll catch you next one.